Morning everybody and welcome back. Have you ever plugged someone else's phone into your system and sort of thought to yourself, that doesn't sound quite right, but I haven't changed anything, which seems a bit weird as to why. So today I'm gonna to plug a load of phones in, I'm gonna play the same tone through my scope and we're gonna see the differences in signal level output. So chances are, if you have your own system, you probably have your own phone, which means that Depends, it doesn't matter whether you've got an iPhone or a Samsung or a Huawei or a Sony or a <laughs> something else, you're going to know how to play your system with regards to how it's set up through your phone. Now, personally, I've found that when I switched from Samsung to a Huawei as my main phone, because I normally store all of my music on my phone, it sounded just a bit shite when I went between the two. So today what I'm going to do is I'm going to test a few major phone manufacturers, the ones that most people commonly use. I think uh, I've got an iPhone, I'm going to use an old Samsung, I've got the Huawei that I'm filming on now. Um, and we're going to see on the scope the differences in signal level between the mobile phones. Now to make sure this test is fair, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be using the same app to play the music, which is going to be YouTube. Now it's not everyone's favourite app, but for the purposes of something that all phones can access, it just makes the most sense. And if YouTube, if anyone at YouTube is watching this video, not that you would, but feel free to throw some adverts on here and pay me lots of money because <laughs> I like money. So to make sure the tests are all the same, what I'm going to do is I'm going to play a 40 hertz tone through the same amplifier into the same head unit using the same auxiliary cable onto the same scope which will tell me the voltage output uh, of the signal from the amplifier. So why does this matter? Well at the end of the day, if you're sitting in your car and your phone is your phone, your system is tuned to your Samsung phone, for example, and then somebody gets in and puts a Huawei phone on it, which has a much stronger signal, and you try and turn it up to the same level, you're essentially just gonna burn your shit out. And you don't want that, that's bad. So we're gonna set the head unit at level 48, something like that, and we'll leave the amp where it is, because really it doesn't make a blind bit of difference, because they're gonna be direct back to back. All phones are gonna be turned up absolutely maximum, this is the Samsung Galaxy S7 with no back on it whatsoever, but it'll do for the purposes of this. So if you look in the bottom right hand corner of the screen, you will see VRMS1, which literally means volts RMS1, which is gonna tell us the voltage of our sine wave coming out of this scope. What I'm gonna do is I'm going to play the amp on the settings it's already on, and I'm then gonna turn the head unit up until it clips. I'm gonna do this for each phone just to make sure it's all uh, the same. So the Samsung, we have 9.5 volts RMS. I'll turn that up to clip. And the test number on the head unit was 42, and we have clip at 52. Okay, so we have, for the Galaxy S7, we have amp volts, which is 9 point something, I've forgotten. 9.5 volts RMS, and the clip number was 52. As you can see, we're now on the Huawei. We've got the same app. The phone is going to be at complete max. We'll go again. So once again, we're at volume 42 on the head unit. The phone is maxed out. And let's check what we've got. Oh, immediately. 28.26.35 and an instant square wave. And just to show you, we're on the same volume 42. For the Huawei, we have, uh, I think it was like 27 volts straight away, which was straight up rail voltage. And then clip number was, I think it was like one, because it was just awful. On a serious note, I think it was, what was it, 31 to get, to get a clean uh, thing out of it, wasn't it? I'm going to be honest with you, that is all the phones that I own. However, my friend Martin's on the way, and I think he's got an iPhone and a couple of tablets that we're going to throw in as well, just for shits and gigs. <sighs> See what's fucking cold in England. Jesus. He's fucking here. About 15 minutes. You said about 15 minutes. You did say about 15 minutes. <laughs> Them shoes are bright. Morning. How we doing? Here we see firsthand a man that uses an iPhone trying to work out a Samsung. We're, about, we're, we're a few minutes in now. He's just trying to connect to the internet. Connected. He's, he's done it. I've done it. He's done it. Right, okay. So that's an, what is it? An iPhone 11 maxi pad yeah, something max sanitary towel. Uh, three quarters of a hob on the toilet back. Toilet paper. <laughs> oh my God, it is a hob, isn't it? 
got like a miniature pancake on there. <laughs> so the next one we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing the iPhone, what is it, 11 maxi pad sanitary towel toilet paper thing <laughs> with a hob on the back. Need a tampon for the sanitary pad. <laughs> this is me taking the piss out of you for not knowing how to work a Samsung. I can't plug a thing in. You can't find the hob. Can't you? <laughs> <laughs> it's the iPhone 11, 40 hertz tone. 10.7, 10.8 volts RMS. And a clip on the head unit. 53.54, I'm going to say. So for the iPhone 11 hob, we have 10.7 volts and clip number 53. So now we've run out of phones, we're going to use a couple of tablets. Because a lot of people are now these days are mounting tablets in their dash because they're posh. We're not posh. Samsung Galaxy Tab. Play. 12.1 volts RMS, I'm going to say. And then clip number there, 52. Finally on the agenda, we have the iPad thingamajiggy. It's one of the iPads. They're all very similar because they don't create anything new. iPad in three, two, one. Whoa! Straight in the clip. 24.8 volts RMS. So that's rail voltage. That's the same as the Huawei. Jesus. So how do we turn it down? into a clean signal, still a bit of clip, 37, whoo! The last phone we're going to be testing is a Sony Xperia, something, something, I'm sure there's loads of numbers after it, but it's a Sony Xperia. Right, Sony Xperia in 3, 2, 1. Oh, soft clip! So 21.8 volts. And we turn it down. And 41 is nice and clean. So the purpose of this wasn't to bash anybody or to say one is better than the other. It's just to show how different these things are. So the next time somebody hops in your car and says, can I plug my phone in? Tell them no, and you'll get the track yourself because you might as well just set fire to your own equipment. Now just remember that your phone is set up for your system. Now I would advise that when you change your phone, you will probably have to recalibrate your system to an extent just to make sure that everything is still clean or you're still getting the most out of everything. Big thank you to Martin for coming around and bringing some things. As you can see, we're two metres apart. I have touched his wank pad, but it's probably... probably it, You wiped that clean, right? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. good, good. Sterilised everything. Nice. Okay. Yeah, the uh, the crustiness was just something <laughs> something else then. No, that's the <laughs> <laughs> ah, ah, ah. Uh, If you like, please subscribe. I'm going to go wash my fucking hands.